Some people are concerned about the safety of the new COVID-19 vaccines due to the speed at which they were developed. This is a very fast timeline for a vaccine. That speed has been gained by intentionally making the process as time efficient as possible, not by eliminating steps from development, production, or safety and efficacy assessments. Many steps that would normally be run sequentially were instead run in parallel, including trials and production. The Moderna and Pfizer mRNA vaccines will be the first ones available. The advantage of RNA vaccines is that they provide the instructions for the recipient to make a harmless protein that triggers the protective immune response we want. They're also faster to make than traditional vaccines. The safety and efficacy trials for these mRNA vaccines included 30,000 and 44,000 participants. Half of the participants in each trial received the vaccine and the other half received the placebo. Based on the frequency of adverse effects between the two groups in each trial, both vaccines were determined to be safe. The Safety Monitoring Board and the FDA made their approval decisions after considering two months of follow-up safety data. Based on the number of participants who reported symptoms of COVID-19, the vaccines were both shown to be highly protective against disease and particularly against severe disease. We don't yet know what the duration of immunity will be or if the vaccines will protect against virus transmission. For now, scientists worry that unrelated illnesses will be attributed to the vaccine. For example, in the two months after the first 10 million people get vaccinated, 4,000 of those people will have heart attacks and another 4,000 will have strokes. That's unfortunate, but it's the normal rate at which we see these conditions and it's unrelated to the vaccine. Vaccine availability will be limited for a while and there'll be multiple options in the future, but for now, for most people, it'll be best to get the vaccine that's offered. Vaccines will be a critical part of our COVID-19 management strategy, but they won't be an immediate magic solution. For now, it's important to continue with behavioral interventions, including mask wearing and distancing. And it's particularly important to be careful during the holidays.